Good YouTube everybody. Thanks for stopping by and visiting the channel and checking out this review. What we're going to talk about is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, The Secret of the Ooze, Ultimate Shredder by Nickelodeon and NECA Toys. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do because it really helps it out. And also give the video a thumbs up. So we're going to be looking at the figure up close. We're going to look at the accessories. We're going to go over the articulation. And we're going to size the figure up with other figures to see how it, the size comparisons are. And we're going to go over the box. Plus, we're going to look at some photos at the end of the videos with all these weapons and all the accessories. That way you can see what it looks like when he's posed up. So now, we're going to go ahead and roll him off the stand and let's give him that measure to see where he sits. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. Three. Two, one. Okay, let's go ahead and measure them up. Let's go ahead and break out that stick. We got it on the centimeter side here, and it looks like he should be right, right at 18 centimeters. That's where he's at. And if you flip it over to the inches, he should be right, right a little bit over seven inches tall. That's where he's at. That's where he's standing, and that's what we're working with today. Okay, let's go ahead and do some size comparison with the other shredder so right now we're looking at the ultimate let's look at the size in comparison of the super shredder and that's a big difference huh <laughs> yeah so that's compared to size I, I think that looks that's pretty awesome i mean look how much bigger he is i mean that's gonna be a that, that's why it was a challenge for the turtles right let's, let's go ahead and put leonardo here leonardo's like what the heck are you on <laughs> bruh what do you want? <laughs> well, that's the size comparison. Let's check out all of his weapons. Check out his accessories. Let's go ahead and look at these. We'll start with this. <laughs> all right, there's the flower. You see it? Nicely detailed. Pretty cool. All right, there's that flower. All right, next one. We'll go with the, the mutagen. All right, nice container. It's pretty simple. Green in a capsule. Nice. Oh, the weapon, which I think is pretty good. I like how they did this weapon. It's nice. Okay, good there. A little focus there. All right. Got it. And his sword, katana. Just, just basic, basic plastics. Some silver paint. Not really much to it. Okay, then you got his holster for that. A little rope around there. Slides right on in. There you go. But the thing about it, there's nowhere to put it. He just holds it. <laughs> I think that's what he does anyway anyway in the movie. So and here goes some of that the, the, some more of that that juice. That green goo. He's got a vial of that. I think he cracks it up. I don't know if he cracks it open and drinks it. I don't know. And then you got your pairs of hands. Two balled up fist. They got their latches on there. Veins sticking out pretty detailed. That's NECA for you. Nice. Then you got some open hands here. Kind of half open so he can hold weapons. Then you got the relaxed hands. All right? Okay. And then the other hands are on, on the background. Yep, and there you got it. You got the hole and the relaxed hand. And that's going to be it on the accessories. Let's take a look at the figure up close. All right, let's go with the head here. Looking good on that helmet. Nice, jagged, shredder head. Looking good. Not bad. You got a little bit of paint work. Kind of blotty, blotty. But, you know, it'll work. Okay, nice. The mask, looking good. Got a little bit of shine to it and a little dullness to it. I like that. Nice on the helmet there. Now back here, you got some faded kind of kind of brush paint, I guess, I'm sure. It's all right. Nothing crazy, but it looks good. I like the kind of a worn look to it. It doesn't look too new. And that kind of that kind of works with his helmet. I like that. He's got that. Up in the top there. 
That matches well. A little bit of bad paint work there. I'm trying to put it together. It's okay. And then what else here? We got other... Okay. Yeah, so the mask is good. However they did the mask, they should have did with the rest of the helmet, the paint, because, they, I mean, you got it, but it just looks pretty bad on the paint job. They could have did a little bit better. Little blotty. Okay. We got his shredder. I don't know what you call those. <laughs> Looks like it's so he scratches it with the side, so don't let him show them up you because you might you might you might feel that. So those are all right. You got some this little the paint job's a little blotty, but it works. Not bad. Let's check the other side. This side's okay. Looking good. Better than this side. This side got a little bit of blotty paint. Spill over. You get that from time to time. Okay. This is here. This is some, uh, some hard plastic. Little, little, little flexible. Not much. Okay. Just some purple. That's it. Okay. Let's go down to those gauntlets here. So the gauntlets. All right. A little bit better paint job, I guess, because they're spaced out better. So it's okay. And you actually have. If you look real close to those little dots. They look like buttons or something holding it together which that's that's a good that's a good addition there i like that so at the, even at the bottom where his hands are you got those kind of silver buttons over there keeping it together nice see this side okay not bad same thing with those silver whatever's keeping it together buttons or i don't know pins i'm not sure but you see it and they did well on that Inside of his hand, you got it right there. Pretty good. Nice job on the gauntlets. His hands, looking nice. I like the hands because it shows details. It's the veins and whatnot, not too bad. But a little bit of plastic cutting they messed up on. Just a tad bit. Not, not too bad. All right. His belt, loose up in the front. But that is some like rubbery, flexible plastic. It's not... Actually, material like cloth, but it's it's pretty cool. But it is cloth here, but is but it is embedded into the figure. The legs, same as the top of the chest. Nothing crazy there. And then we got his shin guards. Pretty nice. There goes some silver dots there. Okay, a lot better because more spaced out, so easier to paint. So the paint job on there is good. All the way down to the feet. And he's got his ninja boots on. <laughs> his ninja foot, if you will. <laughs> that ninja foot. If you know what I mean. Alright, so that's that's it on the appearance. Let me know what you think in the comments. Tell me what you think about it. And we'll talk about it. Okay, so let's step into that articulation. Here we go. Get over here. Uh, nope, uh, that's not it. Okay, let's start with the head here. We got this head work going on. He got the he got the turn. He got a turn here, right? Turn, turn here. And the reason why he can't turn all the way is because his sides here. He's got these in the way. You can turn them more if you want, but you might break the figure. But that's good enough for me. If he can look like that and look like, hey, 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 hey. Yes, that's good enough for me. Okay, so the upwards, that's what he's got. He can't look up to the stars. Because of the helmet. It's too big. Shredder, your helmet's too big in the back. So you can only look a, a certain way. So that's as high as you're going to get him looking up. That's it. And so looking down, pretty good. Did I, did I drop something? Oh, yeah. So that's all you're going to get on the down. And that's not bad. That's going to that's gonna be really good. All right. Good job on that. So that head work. And another thing about this thing that I like the most is that, like the Super Shredder didn't have, his mask comes off. Boom. There it is. It's gone. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh my Splinter, what you do? <laughs> Splinter did a number on him, boy. Wow. Okay. So let's go. We got the cape here. I noticed this when I was doing the appearance. Look at the cape. Flap, flip, flexible, can move in the wind. <sighs> Shredder. Yes, it's nice. So you can always look at this little hook there. There's hooks on the end. You just unhook them and it takes the cape off. Nice. Cape's gone. Okay. So let's go ahead and start with the with the arms here. You got the arm latch. Nice. Nice latch there, rotates. Very, very stiff figure. Like, it's very stiff. That's all you got, as far as it's going up. 
He, he can do a crosswalk. That's it. He, he's not going no more than this right there. See that? That's it. Wow, that face. <laughs> okay, so that's it on the arm there. And you got some rotation in his forearm. Then you got a bend. Then the thing about the bend is nice because the bend goes all the way in. See there? Finishing my country. <laughs> anyway, okay. So you know that the arm works like that on both sides. So that's good to go. So that's, that's good on the arm. The arm is okay. Not the fact that it goes all the way in. But it doesn't go up, so that's that's a ding. So let's go to this midsection. Turn around, very good, very good turns. And then the crunches are awesome. The crunch there, crunch out. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay, so we got the hands here. They move all around because you got interchangeable hands. Plus you have latches in each hand. Each of the hands have latches so they can move up and down. That's nice. Move the hands up and down. And another thing I noticed is these gauntlets here. They do come off. That gauntlet and that gauntlet, they do come off. And they can be annoying at times when you're trying to put the hands on. And it's that that's that's what's what I don't like about that part. So let's look at the legs here. All solid here. He got uh click flies. See there? On um, separate. Click flies. He can do the <laughs> yeah, he can do what he he can do it. That's it. And that is on the legs there. So you see how that works. And then his leg is only on one joint. This I think it's on one. Is it two or one? It's one joint. And that's as far as he can go. I guess he's really old because look at that. That's that's it. <laughs> that that's all he has. That's it on the leg. Okay, that's it. All right, and that's gonna be the same on both sides there. And then let's go to the feet. The feet are on. They got. He has this swivel i don't know if these if these things are in the way it's terrible because i don't like that this is in the way because his foot does have lashes in them as you can see and you but you, you want to rotate them around but this part will give them away the every time i do not like that but yeah i don't i like the way it looks but i don't like how this gets in the way i'm not sure i think you can push it up some it, it looks like you can so they do, so they are, you can push it up some, so you get the footwork. There you are. There you are. You see the footwork. Okay. Okay, and that's it on the articulation. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to go ahead and give this figure a 4 out of 5, just because it looks really good, but the articulation is very funny. Okay, so here is the box. On the top there, you got Nickelodeon, and you have Shredder here, kind of in a somatic look which is pretty nice, that's the figure. And you got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, The Secret of the Ooze, Ultimate Shredder, nice. And on the top, you have Nickelodeon, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, The Secret of the Ooze, some warning stuff, and NECA, right? Go on to the side here, you have Nickelodeon, Shredder the figure, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, The Secret of the Ooze, and the turtles looking at that green goo, and NECA real toys, right? On this side, you got Nickelodeon, you have Shredder the figure in Escape, then you got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, The Secret of the Ooze. And you got the turtles there looking at that green goo and NECA real toys, right? Flip it to the back. You got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, The Secret of the Ooze, Ultimate Shredder. And you got them holding some of that green goo. And then you got some poses with, with, his, with accessories here, which is pretty cool. I like how they got that. Let you know, hey, you can pose them like this or you can pose them the way you want to. And the box is an open box. Pretty nice. Got that nice artwork there of the figure. They did well, and it's packed away real nice. And this is not a one and done, so when you're finished with the figure, you can put it in nicely, close it up, stash it away. And that is the box. And you guessed it. I got him at Walmart at the big box store right around from my house. And I'm telling you what, it was the last one. And I'm glad that I got it because I really do like the figure. If you want the figure, check out Walmart.com. They got what you're looking for, and they got what you need. What are you waiting for? Check them out and let them know I sent you. And this brings us to the end of our video. If you found the video informational or you just simply enjoyed watching, please hit the like, comment, share, and subscribe button. And as always, this has been another toy review. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.